So one of my favorite things lately is this bag. This is actually my personal bag in front of me. If you see me out around New York or anywhere, you will see me carrying this green bag. Green, obviously, an homage to my last name. And uh, I just love it, my married last name. It's vegan leather. I carry it everywhere. I bring it to the studio. It has never failed me. It happens to also, because y'all know I love fashion, it is the so-called new it bag. It is so popular, it's sold out everywhere. But what makes this bag special to me is that it's not just for celebrities or influencers. That is the whole concept of the person who created this bag. His name is Telfar Clemens, and he makes it accessible for every one. That's why it's been dubbed the so-called Bushwick Birkin. It looks amazing, the colors, the range, but I can't stress enough, it is the story that I wanted to share with y'all today. Plus, we're going to give away some bags. But joining us now from his studio in Brooklyn is Telfar Clemens and his business partner and artistic director, Babak Radboy. Thank you both for joining us. So good to see you. Hello. Telfar, I got to tell you, you know, I first heard about the bags. I forget what celebrity I saw on there. And I was like, what is this bag everybody's talking about? <laughs> OK, it's, it's a beautiful bag. And then I read the story where you talked about you want things to be accessible to people. You didn't want, and you, fashion should not be just for a certain celebrity or a certain type. Yeah, I mean, exactly what you just said. You know, I want, I wanted to make a, or my products are for people that are just like me, you know, and I tried to think about, you know, what I would pay for something, what I want to wear, what doesn't exist, because a lot of the clothes that I do make, you know, I make specifically for people like me, like the clothes that I wanted didn't exist when I was younger. So, you know, I had to make them basically, well, you know. Bob, like I've read, you know, magazines where they're like, you must buy this bag or you're not cool or you must have this shirt or you're not cool. So much of fashion, sadly, has become about following versus leading. And that's your brand is about leading. Now, you do happen to have a T on there. I'm going to always assume that T stands for Tamron. T and a C. T and a C. The T stands for Tamron. And if you turn it upside down, maybe it's a G, then it can be exactly for you. I love that. But, you know, <laughs> but Bob, the point is, like, right now, people can go online, and the bag is sold out. But you started this pop-up shop because you wanted people who desire the bag to be able to get the bag. So you do these pop-up sales. Yeah, I mean, you know, so much of fashion is about, uh, you know, this is a status bag, but the status has nothing to do with money uh, because there are other things uh, that are interesting about people. <laughs> um, and I think it's probably the first status bag in the history of fashion that's not about that. Um, it's about something else. It's about what you're identifying with who. Um, so when this bag all of a sudden became impossible to get, and we had thousands and thousands of them selling out in like seconds, um, <laughs> we got in this weird position because all of a sudden we're a hype product, and that is not what we're about. Yeah, we're about community, we're about accessibility. Yeah, um, and so we came out with the bag security program, which was uh, the 24 hours you could buy any bag you wanted. We would custom make it for you, and you'd get it in five months. Mm -hmm. um, and the results of that were totally, I think, the number of people who wanted bags was beyond mm -hmm. anything you could have imagined. Telfar, when you go back and think about how long you've been doing this, they've called you the rebel designer, the designer of the future. You are reminding people that status is not a handbag. Status is something, you know, that's a head trip for someone else. We are bigger than that. The clothes do not make us. We make the clothes, and you happen to make some beautiful ones for us, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, like, when I, when I think about clothing and what I get inspired by is, like, the thing that, you know, you kind of see everywhere, but yeah. then when there's, like, this certain twist that I feel like, you know, what, you know, I offer is, like, a completely different version of the thing that you're completely used to and is in the world, but it's, like, completely from a take of like acceleration yeah. and like kind of going to a place of like, you know, who is that for again? Yeah, you know, yeah, you and I love it. It's, was, the, it's the what first. purpose that did serve. Yeah. yeah, it's the first bag that is not a status bag. That is a status bag. It's so interesting. All right, so we're going to give away <laughs> um, two bags, one for our virtual audience and one for a lucky person watching the show. The Cobalt Blue Telfar, which is beautiful, valued at $150. We have the name 
of somebody from our virtual audience in there. Drum roll, please. And by the way, I'm obsessed with mini bags. People, oh yeah, hit it, hit it, Telfar. Okay, the person going home with this amazing cobalt blue Telfar bag, Delman Melton. Delman is going home with the bag. Oh, okay, girl. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to celebrate with a Telfar bag. I love this. Thank you, Telfar, and bye back.